has been a minute. It's been a minute since we talked about Tracy Anderson. I have been doing Tracy Anderson for probably going on two years now. I started with Metamorphosis when I realized that doing HIIT classes, HIIT workouts, intense workouts in general, were really doing more harm than good. It was causing me to eat more, it was causing me to be inflamed and just look bloated all the time. Although I feel like I'm always bloated all the time, but that's still something I'm figuring out. But anyways, I did Metamorphosis over a year ago, probably more like two years ago. Then I went to Tracy Anderson's online studio. And in doing her online studio, I just found that it required so much of me because I was doing the intermediate lane, it was an hour, and I felt myself pulled to go back to Metamorphosis, go back to the basics. And I do have a video that explains the difference between intermediate or the online studio and metamorphosis, but it really comes down to the muscle exhaustion sequence. In metamorphosis, the moves Tracy has per workout, there seems to be less moves than there is with intermediate, but the amount of reps you have per moves is a lot more. We're talking about 40 reps a move. And what that can do is have you burning like crazy. So I am nearly done with metamorphosis. That's right, nearly done. I should be have been, I should be two weeks into continuity by now, but I'm not. And I'm gonna tell you why. I'm gonna tell you about what I've learned this second time around with metamorphosis. And then also we've gotta talk about my mode. So let's get right into it. Uh, my mode, I know that I've been connecting with some of you on Instagram and talking about Tracy's new product that she's offering. I think a lot of people are scoffing at the price of this new, this new workout accessory she has, this workout tool she has. And it's a reminder to me that the Tracy Anderson method is targeted towards kind of elite market. This is like a demographic that, you know, buying the my mode really wouldn't be a big deal. I mean, her memberships are quite hefty and it's just a reminder of the target audience she's targeting. Quite frankly, I don't feel much of a pull to try it out. I'm sure that could very well change based on people's feedback the people that are early adopters, I will be very curious to know what their experience is. I'm, I mean, I'm in her content that's, you know, very old. So I've just been disconnected in general. <laughs> but anyways, I wanted to share with you, surprisingly, what I've been learning the second time around with Metamorphosis and my big mistakes, so that if you're making these mistakes too, that they can help you. So the biggest thing I've learned the second time around is really relearning things I already know. And I think that's part of life. Sometimes we make the mistakes over and over and it takes time to evolve. The biggest mistake I've been making is not really feeling the moves. And I've been reminded of this when I watch certain Tamers on Instagram. Um, Erica Boom, she really exemplifies what it means to feel the move. And I've talked about this before. And then um, the account Debate Champ, she has an awesome video I'm gonna link where she shows you what it means to actually contract and that it's made a huge difference for her. And quite frankly, there's been so many days as of lately where, great, I got the workout in, but was I really present? Was I really fully engaged in the workout? No, but did I feel like I got a workout? Yeah, but anyways, that's a mistake that I find myself continuing to make and I need to get creative with how I can remind myself to stay present. Cause I know this, I know it, but I just, sometimes I just get into the motions and it's a reminder. I think you could translate that to all things in life, to be present and to be effective and make it count. That's the biggest thing I've learned. And then when it comes to my results, uh, I can't say I look much different than when I started Metamorphosis, which isn't a bad thing to say I haven't gotten even more results with metamorphosis because I was doing an hour of intermediate five to six days a week. Yes, I would fall off because I always seem to fall off, but that's kind of a part of the process. But I've been doing more of the 30 minute mat workout and then I'll sprinkle in dance cardio three days a week. Sometimes I'll walk quite a bit. It really just depends. But it's not really a surprise that I haven't gotten these revolutionary results because I was going from her intermediate class to a program that's meant for beginners. As I've gotten through the different levels of metamorphosis, there's different challenges within each level. Level one has got to be the hardest out of all of them, the hardest. And I mean, I was going from being experienced with intermediate to doing level one of metamorphosis harder than 
most med most of the intermediate classes. I mean, it's hard. If you can get through level one, you can get through the rest. Level nine, it's challenging, but in a different way. I mean, it is really difficult for me to get through all the reps without taking a break. It's tough, but it feels so good. And I definitely am seeing changes in my body, especially my core. I still have problem areas, like in my back of my arms, I feel like I have back fat, back fat um, still. But the mistakes I've made, in addition to not being super present with a lot of my workouts, may even very well say most, is that I have fallen back into the habit of eating when I'm not actually hungry. And I find that there's a big difference in how I feel and how, how, like, how I carry weight when I am eating intuitively, eating when I know I need food and when I am particular about what I want, like I'm getting what I crave. There's a big difference there versus when I just, oh, it's time to eat. I'm not actually hungry, but hey, it's here. going to eat anyhow. I feel like that's contributed to me maybe not getting results as much. I've been just going through some big life changes. I have a new job. It's been very taxing, but in a great way. Like it's, it's all great changes, but it's, I find myself putting things that are important on the back burner that I need to get back into focus. Another mistake I'd say I've been making is drinking too much. Uh, it's especially when you get a new job or you're celebrating things. And I think even through COVID, a lot of people, myself included, have kind of fallen into the habit of drinking maybe too much. And I don't just mean by volume. I mean just like drinking throughout the week. And I ended up watching Andrew Huberman's podcast video around alcohol's effects on the body. And it's just a reminder to me that it's, there's, really, there's really not much of an upside when it comes to alcohol. The only upside is avoiding the kind of discomfort when you're in a social setting and you're like, I'm not drinking, but I'm also not pregnant. Uh, don't want to kill your vibe. And, and not to mention, sometimes a glass of wine can be like a therapy session. I don't know that I'll cut alcohol out entirely, but I really want to get back to, to having boundaries and just being selective about alcohol and having it a treat, not a requirement to get through the day. Not that it has been, but if you find yourself drinking a majority of days of the week, you probably know what I'm talking about. And if you don't, <laughs> don't judge me. But I would say that I, you know, I can't come to you with, oh, metamorphosis didn't give me the results I would expect because great. I was doing the workouts, but I don't think I was really doing them as they were intended to. Wasn't super present. I also have been falling into the habit of eating when I'm not actually hungry, which I know for myself, because I know myself, that impacts the way my physique looks. And then I've been drinking too much and that's definitely going to have an impact. I mean, the amount of sugar that's in a glass of wine, for us wine lovers, we want to avoid knowing that, but there's a lot of sugar in wine and sugar can definitely contribute to how your physique looks. And then after all that, looking great is great and all, but it's not the most important thing. I really still feel so good doing the Tracy Anderson method, especially with metamorphosis, getting back to basics. I love the way the workout is structured. I will link a video, it's an old video, but I'm gonna link a video where I walk through the differences between online studio and metamorphosis, if you're interested in that. And um, very soon here, I will be going on to continuity I have a handful of days left before I get to that point. Um, and you may be thinking, because I'd be thinking this if I were you, like, why would you share this video before you're done with metamorphosis? And it really comes down to, you just got to keep pushing forward. Even when you have setbacks, even when you haven't met your timeline, you just got to keep pushing forward. And I promised that I would release this video soon, sharing my updates around metamorphosis. And I want to commit to that. I want to stick to my word. But this time around, I haven't stuck to it as closely. You know, there's been things, again, this new job I've had. Uh, we had a bout of COVID. If you've had COVID recently, you probably find yourself moving a little bit slower. But anyways, the show goes on. I'm still moving forward. I'm still going to move forward with continuity. I, you know, there are times where I think, oh, maybe I want to try something different. There are times where I see somebody on social media that looks amazing. And I'm like, what are they doing? I need to do that. I need to just overhaul everything I'm doing. And then I have to remember, I have that tendency of just wanting to blow everything up and start all over. And 
knowing that does not work for me. I am so certain that this is the path for me, at least the old school Tracy Anderson. It'll be interesting to see if I do the full, basically three and a half years of continuity. And um, if I go ever go back to online studio or if I do something else, I don't know. But for now, I still feel great the way the, the, the method works for me. I just need to make some tweaks in my lifestyle and I know I'll love it even more. You know I will always check in with you and share how I'm doing along with other stuff I'm doing. It's just so fun. It's just so fun. And I really appreciate your kind words and support and encouragement. It, this is a dream come true. This is, and I, I know this is not like I have a big channel or anything and that really doesn't even matter to me. But to find something that makes you feel like you're in alignment with what you want to do and what you should do, that is so rewarding. And I hope that you find what that is for you if you haven't already. So that's really what I have to share with you about my metamorphosis journey. If you have questions, please comment below, reach out to me on Instagram. Uh, if you did like this video, please be sure to like it. That seriously does help. Um, and with that, I hope to see you in the next video and thank you so much for being here. Stay tuned for the quotes.